Hi, Elizabeth. It is really an honor to have you uh, sharing with us today. Uh, it, it really, really is an honor to feature your story and learn a little bit more about your company, uh, Shaka Kai, which is so inspiring. It's a vibe like in and of itself and is way more than activewear, but certainly is that. So can you tell us a little bit more about your company? It really started when I went to Hawaii for the first time. I've always been in love with the water. Um, I guess that much is clear, but <laughs> always been ocean people, grew up fishing, uh, grew up diving. I started scuba diving when I was about 15. Um, and when we went to Hawaii, it was nice to see how integrated the water is and even just adventure is with the very culture and the atmosphere of the island. And I just decided, I was like, hey, dad, what if, you know, what if there was this apparel company? And it was all about adventure. Like you see a lot of big name brands that like maybe make fishing gear or hiking gear, but there's not really an adventurous lifestyle brand which is hmm. what I wanted for Shaka Kai, was to be the bridge between all adventurous lifestyles, but still centered around the water because you can't forget your roots. Shaka, um, you might know, means hang loose, good vibes, you know, traditional. It's the name for the gesture, the surfer gesture. And Kai means ocean. But um, as a writer, I felt like those two words really rang together and it produced a nice consonation for me. So that's what we settled on. With my dad, it started out really as just a casual conversation after a surfing lesson, you know, being in the sun all day, later on at dinner, and then for about two years, one or two years, we, this was in 2015. So for like one or two years, we talked about it on and off, just brainstormed. And it was, it kind of went to the back of my mind, but I guess it, something really stuck for my dad because he comes home one day and he goes, hey, you know, I have the, the copyright and this is, this is real, we're gonna do this. To me, he staked a lot on it and it's, it's working out now. So Lizzie Lives Mackay is pretty much my way to stay actively engaged when I'm at school or you know doing other things and I can't focus a lot of most of my time on Shaka Kai. And so what it is the basic premise is, you know, I go on my adventures and I write about it or I will write about sustainability. I love teaching other people about the ocean. And so Lizzie Lives in Mackay is just another outlet for me to write about what I love doing and also do what I love because I love writing. I think I was 16 or 17 because it was, I know it was right around the time I started doing coral reef restoration and my advice would be to get help. It's really hard for me to ask help. I don't have any shame in admitting that, but you need help and it's possible. It's possible. It's absolutely possible. Just if you think you need help, get help. We do hope to grow, but so far we're staying strictly e-commerce because even though the internet is not always very personal. It feels more intrapersonal for us because, you know, we don't always have con control over customer service in brick and mortar. And Shaka Kai is about family. You know, it was started by my family and we want to keep the, the Ohana feeling. So make sure to head to the website, check it out if you haven't already. Follow on Instagram 
and stay connected. Uh, it definitely will inspire you. There's some great apparel. And um, if you have a, a heart and passion to make a difference, then certainly this is your tribe because there's plenty of opportunity to learn um, from uh, the Shaka Mag and Lizzie Lives Mackay. And you can figure out some ways to make an impact and leave this world a better place. Uh, thank you so much for being with us, Elizabeth. It means so much. We're so grateful for the work you're doing and honored to feature you and your company a little bit more today. Thank you for having me.